Okie doke. Okie doke. Let's <coughs> Bird flew hard and crashed into a window. Want to explore a brand new terrain. Bird flew hard and it crashed into the window. And never fly that low again. A list is a lot appropriate, and it means she flies with her own wings. I fly with my own wings. I don't need anyone else to hold me up. I'm a CNA, Certified Nursing Assistant. Lydia is five. She is very much like me. And then Brooklyn is seven. She's a leader. And then Trent is three next week. And he's mama's boy. <laughs> Come on, Dominique. Come on, Mr. Come on, Ari. Well, I don't know what I did wrong. I don't see where I made my mistake. I didn't expect to be a single mom of three children. That was my biggest fear. But I am, and I'm trying to deal with it the best way I can. We've been split up for a little over two years now. He came to me and he told me that he was addicted to uh, pain pills. Through the years, it got worse. Being married for 10 years, and I don't have really anything because all of the money went towards his addiction. Like, I wanted a house by the time I was 28 years old, and I didn't get it. You know, to finish school, I mean, like, I have nothing to show for those years it's besides my children. That's it. That's it. I got three good children out of them. And that's it. Who's that? Sing me my song. Sing it for me, come on. There's more pretty girls than one. Every town I'm rambling around, there's more pretty girls than one. What about? Hey, good looking. Yeah. Sing it. Hey, good looking. What you got cooking? I'm not cooking some of it, me. <laughs> you, 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 you're my buddy. I am. Always. One, two, three.
Ellie, you're it's okay. You're okay. You're okay. You're okay. okay. When me and my husband okay, split, I had to do something, and I was looking for a job for eight months. Hey, Mr. Berenger, are you done? Yes, I am. You are? You had it all. Yeah, I put it all the way. Like always. You lift your feet. There you go. There you go. Yeah, there you go, bud. Even nurses say a CNA's job is the backbone to the nursing field. It can be rewarding. Okay. You meet very good people, but you also lose them, and it's very hard. Yeah, John, I'll be back tomorrow. 9.49 an hour for what we do. We're getting ready to do kids in action. Go. Begin. What we're gonna do is this. Give yourself a big hand. We call this afternoon review. You're remembering what we've been doing. Getting ready for the next step, going to kindergarten. You got about seven months. That's our goal, to be kindergarten ready. Guess what? It's gonna depend on you. The choices you make. Cause we say good choices get you what? Good results. When you treat people right, when you talk to people right, when you do something that's not right, you go back and make it right. That's what make a good you. Let's clean up, Alexander. The kids are learning so much here, so much. If I went to a normal daycare, it would cost me $300 per week for all three of my children. How, I mean, that's the whole paycheck. You're working to pay daycare? How are you gonna pay your bills? We gotta go pay the rent. How much are we Bye, Miss Bobby. Bye, Pocket. Have a good weekend. See you Monday, Monday, Monday. Okay. Have a good one, sweetie. Why were you over there all by yourself? Me? Yeah. Because I don't need no help. I'm gonna pay 80 today, but I'm coming in tomorrow to pay. Okay. Okay. There you go, kiddo. Thank you. And I will see you next time. Sounds good. Have a good one. You too. Partial payments. People can do that here, within reason. She's a good girl. She's really trying. Baby. What you got? Nothing in there at all. Mama's broke till tomorrow. <laughs>
You eat it. Maggie, you eat it. You eat it. Then you eat it. Mm -mm. Less. Mm -mm. Less. Less. Good job. Yeah. Your hands are sticky or something. But when paranormal is over, can we play outside? Oh, I Lydia. Mommy, I I don't know because it's supposed to be raining and snowing off and on all day today. And it's out. very wet. Look how wet it is out there and it's muddy. I don't care. I do care though because I don't want y'all to get sick. No, but, but I don't care if the snow is gone. I still want to play outside. It's wet and muddy. I don't care. <laughs> I do. I can't miss work because y'all are sick. We are not sick. No, but if y'all, you know how cold it is out there? It is cold. Hey, quit eating our food. Look, you do that and you're gonna fall off that couch and then we're gonna end up going to the hospital because you're gonna bust your head open or something and break your neck. Yeah, that's gross. Stop. Get down. I basically call your dad. Mama, stormy pee pee. Or you get something clean up, please. Mama, yes. You're supposed to keep your eyes on the road. Quit looking for your boyfriend's house. <laughs> Lydia, come on, honey. Trent, no, come on. Mommy, why are you coming in the play mud puddle? Why do you want to play mud puddle? If we had a yard, then I would keep her, but we didn't come over for her to be. She's a very good dog. I posted the dog on Craigslist, and there was a lot of uh, different responses. And I just picked one, and I was trying to find a friendly person. She's had a bath, but she's kind of, she oh. was crawling under the seat, <laughs> so she's got flaky stuff all over her. And here's $40. Thank I you for going you. out of your trouble or I out of your way. I have a halter. Bye, Stormy. Okay. Bye, Stormy. Bye, Stormy. Bye, Stormy. Here's her a halter that we had for her. Aww. Well, she's uh, going to a good home. Thank you guys so much. You're welcome. It means a lot. She's a good dog, a really good dog, aren't you? Get off the bed. Hey. Get off the bed. We're not playing with this. Get move, move from it. Come here, Trent. Come here for a minute. 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 Come here for
you're not gonna behave like that, though, are we? You need to tell Jesse you're sorry. Okay, thank you. Because we don't push our friends down. Come here, Trent. Yes, come here for me. Come on, Trent. Give me milk. Y'all supposed to be nice to each other. They're not upstairs? No, I ain't walking on that. They ain't in the computer lab? Our last family picture. I like that picture. <laughs> That's a good picture. Daddy and Mama, you look different. I was 19 years old. <laughs> and he's six years older than me. <laughs> this is horrible. <laughs> That's before we got married. That's a long time ago. And I would buy for you a diamond or myself some gasoline. If I can't afford you, darling, then I can't afford to dream. And is it time I should be moving? Is it time I settle down? Will I sit still or will I feel the wheels spinning around? Wheels spinning. This is for daddy. What's for daddy? This for bump. The footballs for daddy? <laughs> you don't get them? Yes, I am. Are you excited you get to see him? Yes. It's a four hour round trip. He borrowed ten dollars from his mom for gas because he totally didn't have any at all. And I'm gonna have to give him that ten dollars for her back and give him gas money to get back home. Spend as much time as with me as they can, you know. But I wish it was more. I've been trying to get up some money so I could come back and live closer to them. Cause I know she don't want to come down here. But they had a lot of stock mail jobs closed, and that's what I've done a lot of my life. And they they sent them overseas a few years back. So there's not a whole lot going on. You can you can find something, you know, every now and then here and there. Uh, you might get to work one or two days a week at one place if you go through a temp service or something like that. But uh, yeah, yeah, I'd like to be closer to them. It's a ten for your mom and it's okay. for you getting back. Um, we lost our food stamps for the moment, so I got like sixty-one bucks left, and uh, I'll get as much as I can for them to send up for that week. Well, we'll just use ours if we have to, because we, we got some the other day, on the 16th, I think it was, so we just do that if we have to. I love you, be good. Love 
When me and their dad first split up, they hated me. They thought I was the bad person. They thought it was all my fault because I took them away from their dad. But it, it wasn't, it wasn't. All I do is ask him, you know, well, since you don't have a job right now and you can't help me financially, can you please at least watch them so I can work, you know? And he says, yeah. He don't ever try to argue or anything. I mean, he wants to spend as much time with the kids as he can anyways. He actually wants to move up here to Chattanooga. It's just a matter of him finding a job and finding a place and having the money to do that. I can't see myself letting him stay here with me and the kids, feeding him and giving him gas money all that stuff, you know. So it would have just probably put more stress on me. I don't know. I've had headaches every day and stressing over every little thing. It's very stressful. Brooklyn looked at me this morning in the car and she said, Mommy, you need help. And I was like, I know I do. Okay, sit down. You're gonna fall. You know you can't go up to the nurse's desk unless you're in your wheelchair, okay? We're so thankful for people like Katrina and others that take care of our parents because you get to where you just can't do it at home by yourself and all, you know, and they have different shifts out here to take care of, so it really helps a lot. How many days you work in a row sometimes? Lots of days, right? I'm working, I'm on an eight day stretch eight right day now. now. Eight days. It tires you out, you know, when you have to go so many days, but. If it's a holiday or whatever, someone's got to be here. On Christmas Eve, Thanksgiving, instead of with my children. Mm -hmm. But some of these people don't have anybody else to be here for them, so. I didn't miss my mama. My mama was always my best friend. I know, I know, Mary, I know. You, hey, hey, don't you sit there and say that you don't have anybody because you have a lot of people. Do you hear me? Your friends come and visit you. Your sons come and visit you. I'm here with you every day. Okay. Here's your water. I lived with, with this woman. You lived with a woman? Yeah, I was married to her. You and Mary Terry, which one? This one? Over here? Yeah. Boy, she was good in, in, in bed. <laughs> she was good in bed. <laughs> in our block. Does it take long? We gotta do taxes. <laughs> All that hard work I did and I didn't make enough money. <laughs> it's like, really? And I do this for that? <laughs> She gets an earned income credit uh, on, on all three of her children. And then there's also some child tax credit. My name is I'm Walter. Good. Welcome to h and Block. Hi. And uh, I'll there's be doing that. your typing. <laughs> and I see you bought you some helpers along. Oh, yes. Come on back. Come on. <laughs> Come on. I see you work here at uh, the nursing facility. No. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, quit moving, guys. 
Sit still, Lydia. Stop. Oh, Don't mess with that, please. Oh, you won't get no money. This is the actual tax return. It's showing us the head of household, that yourself, three children, a total of four dependents. This is your earning income credit, and this is your child tax credit. Okay, guys, come back over here, please. That's all right. Children have to be someplace. And then this is what was withheld. Shh. Guys, hush. And this is your over, your overpayment or your refund for Georgia. Okay. And we'll, we'll decide in a few minutes that how you want how you want to receive your refund. Scoot over. Scoot over. Now, this is your fee. This includes the federal and the state. Stop. Oh, my God. <laughs> uh, most people that get it really needed to get caught up on their bills and, and uh, make ends meet. Okay. Oh, thank you. Mom's got to have a cookie, too. <laughs> All right. Buddy. Thank you so much. All right, be careful taking those, those kids. Are, it's late at night now. I will. All right. I didn't pay off my car. <laughs> this past year, I couldn't even give none of them a birthday party, not even a birthday present. So, I mean, maybe i get them something. You can't go back in there. They lock the doors because there's bad men around here. <laughs> go see the glaucoma doctor. Go see my family doctor. Go to the chiropractor. Get all that taken care of. Maybe try to find some insurance. I need insurance. Get my medication. <laughs> when I was 19, I was diagnosed with Graves' disease of the thyroid, and so I have thyroid disease, and I'm supposed to have it checked every three months. But I don't always have the money to go get my medicine and stuff, so I just do without. I don't have insurance on myself. I can't afford it. This test takes hundreds of images of the eye. It's been swollen for months. I'm gonna double check your thyroid. Am I feeling? Straight ahead, you're doing good. Am I feeling? It's just gonna be a little pinch, a little stick, ow, and some burning. There you go. I had a headache straight for three months. Um, the panic attacks were getting a lot worse. I mean, it was getting to the point to where I couldn't even work. My panic attacks were just like hitting me that hard while I was at work. I don't know what's causing my headaches. I wanna make sure we're not missing anything so the MRI will help. Uh, if your insurance will let me, I'll do an MRI that looks for I'll things like- insurance. You still remain a suspect because I thought the optimum would look a little bit big. From a quality of life standpoint, these headaches are driving me nuts. Blood counts, you do have a little bit of anemia. Any heart problems? So we'll do a Holter at the hospital, along with a heart ultrasound and a chest x-ray. Maybe more of a stress type of uh, headache. You have a sinus infection for sure. And have you seen any flashes of light, flickering lights, floaters, black spots? But if you can get plenty of sleep. Hey. We'll take care of it. We'll make sure you're okay. Okay? Can I make an appointment for my kid? Uh-huh. Yeah. How much you want to pay? 80. 80? Okay. And they have down that you're not using insurance. Right. Okay. Well, the total today is $295. They told me it would be $130. I think the home is still so stupid. I want to lay it down. Then I can bring on the big fight up in the enemy. Come sit at that jungle like any other. Well, now I'm trying to make you see what you know not to shoot at this. I went to get my prescriptions last night. It was over $400. 
for my medication. So I, I can't pay that. I had to pick and choose which one to get. So the only thing I got was the antibiotic and my thyroid medicine because I have to have it. And then my Xanax when they filled it. The Nasonex or the nose spray, it was over 60 bucks. The uh, Zofran for me being nauseated, over 60 bucks. The nine pills of my migraine medicine, over $200. So I, it's all at the pharmacy. I'll pick out the colors that look like this, this picture and show you. Just I need to wipe it off, please. Now we can go a little bit darker if you want to, but I don't, I don't think it would look good like black. Mm -hmm. I think that we should do something like this. Mm -hmm. I think that will be pretty It's for my birthday, something for me. And I wasn't gonna do it, but my second mom, Michelle, at work, she talked me into it. You need to do something for yourself. You're always doing everything for these kids and everything, and you let yourself go, and that's mainly what you gotta do, though, when you're a single mom. You let yourself go, and everything's gotta go to them, so. With three of them, got my hands full. Yeah, I'm sure. It was too hard. Was he? He's from Alabama. Oh, okay. Not from here. So, that, see, that's another thing. He lives in Alabama, and I live here, so it's, like, really hard. It's, yeah. it's just me, you yeah. know? So now when the kids are sick, are you the one taking off work all the time? Yeah. Ooh. And you don't get paid if you miss work. Exactly. You know, honestly, it's been, like, going through my head, do I pay for my divorce or get my health situation under control. I want to pay for my divorce, but I wished he had a job so he could pay for half of it. Divorces are not cheap. Yeah, they're not. Mm -hmm. It's 87. Can we get you some change? Thank you. Well, Thank you, Kelsey. You too. Thanks. Trent, you have to be a nice policeman. Okay. Look what you're supposed to be doing. Let's focus. Thank you. Before you say you can't, you try. Because you never know what you can do if you don't try. Pause. Is that pause? <laughs> She has it. <laughs> She's wanting it back in her box, person. Okay. Fast pause, kids. We found them in the closet. I'm hungry. Okay, 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 okay. We got the lasagna. Well, the lasagna. Fixing something in a minute. Give me a minute. I've been going all day. Okay. Oh, I don't have cereal. Because I don't. <laughs> what? No, no, they're sitting here. Why don't we cook? Cook. All of these. I hate being alone. Oh, I can't stand it. Not to have someone to call that actually cares about what you're going through or. We'll sit and listen to you. Mama. It means a lot. I'm okay, baby. I'm hungry. Okay, we're going to Christmas to eat dinner.
it was to, to the points where he was dating someone to try to get rid of his feelings for me or replace his feelings for me and it wasn't working. And I was doing the same. I was trying to date somebody to just replace my feelings for him and it just was not working at all. At all. Make you laugh, make you smile. Are you gonna get a strike? We just jive. We always really have, but the kids' mamas was really the reason why we couldn't really make it work the first time. Like they were jealous of it. If I can't be a mother to my child, no one will be kind of thing, I guess. Julie kicked off his feet, get around the bend. He does it all on his own, too. He works his butt off, and he'll do anything to help anybody. It's a great thing coming back to college and wanting to better yourself. I mean, I want to do the radiology, but also, like, later when the kids get a little older and in school and can kind of do for themselves, I want to do the transfer program for nuclear medicine. I really wished I would have finished school before I had children. I was going for my LPN and it just didn't work out. I was sick and missed too many days of school. Okay. I'm nervous. here. Now, the math score did place you in remediation, mm -hmm. but this, these scores will get you in to a degree. Thank you. Welcome. What do I do now? <laughs> you can take those to admissions if you want to, and then that can help them process your application. Okay. Thank you. What? Congratulations. was a 16. I can do what I want to do now. I can go to college, start back towards my degree that I want. I don't want to be a CNA for the rest of my life. <laughs> Chris, guess what? I'm officially a student at Dalton State College. They just accepted me. 
I know. <laughs> Happy dance. <laughs> Yes. It looks like you have all your last items as far as being needed. Going into the Rad Tech program. Radiology. Yes. Yes. Now, have you filled out your FAFSA? Okay. Well, yeah. Oh, I'm trying to get back into college now. They won't let me come unless I have, like, documentation saying why I wasn't able to go to school. That should be easy. Before, and you were my doctor, and you were the one that I was under your care at that time. They want me to pay for my whole tuition. I can't get any financial aid if I don't have, I have to appeal it, and this is for the appeal. I want to go back to school. They're not going to let me. Well, they're going to be fighting me along with you. What happened? He you punched her in the ear. Oh, don't you smile. I know you're not smiling about that. No, I think you owe somebody an apology and a hug. Tell her. Tell her. One. Two. Tell her you're sorry and give her a hug. Say it louder. Johnny! Now give her a hug. Thank you. That was beautiful. Mm -hmm. Mine wouldn't have budged. Not at that age, anyway. <laughs> One moment. Okay. We'll get that taken care of. Hopefully in August. I can start. I said, I'll probably get you up before breakfast gets here, if that's okay with you. Well, whatever you want to do, yeah. Hey, will you help me pull Alma up? Mm-hmm. Morning, Alma. One, One two, two, three. Okay. Where's you out? Where's your body down? Sometimes I feel like I'm 60 years old. You ready for some breakfast? Yeah. Yeah. Got you a new box. Put them in your pocket. Oh, thank you, dear. Appreciate it. Thank there you, you go. I'll be back tomorrow. All right. And thank you. Goodbye. Thanks. I love you. Hey, I gotta go in here for a few minutes. I'll come check you out in a minute, okay? okay. Has your child ever attended another head story program or another child care center before? No. We no. offer more services for the family. Just like if you had any concerns about him, we could help you with those concerns. 
Does uh, he interact well? Well, like, the teachers downstairs and the toddlers said that, you know, some of the other kids would pick on him and stuff, you know, mm -hmm. be mean to him, and just they'd like to nag him and stuff, you know? Oh, uh -huh. And so, I don't know. And then he just, like, at home, likes to hit a lot. His sisters and stuff. He mm -hmm. just all the time hitting. Mm -hmm. He's like OCD type too. Mm -hmm. He loves to clean mm -hmm. and wash his hands and like when he did artwork down there, you know, Miss Deidre, everything had to be placed perfectly oh. on uh -huh. the paper. Is he your natural child? Yes. You have custody. Yes. You single? Yes. Separated, mm -hmm. not divorced yet. Okay. Do you receive child support? Yes, I do. Hey, you come here! <laughs> bye bye, I'll see y'all tomorrow. When I came back here to Georgia, I went and I signed up for child support. It was set uh, by his pay and everything, it was set at uh, $4.93 a month. Well, since he got behind because he got laid off and then he couldn't find a job, it got moved up to 540 or 550, something like that. And that would be more than half of his weekly pay that he would be having to pay to me. That's a lot. I wouldn't mind if it was just $60. That would help out. $60, $100, something like that. Even if it was a tank of gas, that would be nice. That's what I was shooting for, you know, to be up here closer to him. I could see him a little more often and Hip out. Daddy, I found something. I see that. He was still up at 12.30 this morning. Uh, might have slept an hour and was up again at 3. Did and was I up for the rest of the day. Apparently he didn't even take a nap today. I don't know what his problem is. I don't know why he's all wired up, but he hasn't slept. I don't know what the deal is with that. He should crash tonight, though. I told him if he could get a job up here, then I would let him take over my trailer. I kind of pushed him and he got a job in one day, so he moved up here and he's living in the trailer now. So me and the kids are living here. And we're happy. Yeah, I'm just gonna smile because if I do anything <laughs> else, I'll get in trouble. No, I'm <laughs> happy though. I am happy, I mean, if we wasn't happy, we wouldn't be together, right? right. I would be back in the trailer, even though put Jeremy on the couch and I would not enjoy it really. But well, he ain't sleeping in the bed with me. It'll break your heart, especially like um, I got to see him this weekend, and I mean, my second oldest one, she was just like, I'm, I'm sorry. Whatever I've done, I just, I just want to come back. And I'm like, honey, right now, daddy's hands are tied. I keep telling Chris, you know, don't worry. Everything's going to be fine. It's going to work out. We're just going through our storm right now. But we're going to get out of it. I have faith. You know, I'll be paying at least two, three hundred dollars a week in child support. I won't be able to afford this place anymore. You know, even with Katrina helping me, Katrina will become the breadwinner. We live paycheck to paycheck. I maxed my credit card out just to make sure we had enough gas to get back and forth to work. I had to max my Target card out so uh, we could buy suntan lotion and floaties.
Look, look. Do you see where mommy's standing? The sand's right here. Oh. Come here. You want to see it with mommy? Okay. See? You want to sit down with me? Oh. I just play in the sand. You just play in the sand? <laughs> There. That's as full as it can get. You've been talking about going back to school. I think you really should. I mean, even if it is something like medical records or something like that. I think you're just scared of failing more so than anything. I'm scared that I'm too busy with... Life? ...them three and, you know, the other four and... I don't know, that's a lot to deal with in itself. And then you go to school and that's more put on you and you're working full time and still taking care of the household stuff. And well, but it'd be a lot better than working that nursing home that you cuss about all the time. The only reason you stay is because you like the certain residents. Because you don't want to leave them. There ain't no sense of you not trying to better yourself. Because mm. the better you do yourself, the better it ends up for all of us. Mm. Right? You just gotta quit being scared about it. We're sleeping in the living room right now. This would be our master bedroom. It looks like totally flooded out. It got us pretty good. In here is the, all this is right, pretty much. All of our winter clothes are over here. All this stuff's mildewed and pretty much garbage. Right here, is the garage and we've done all this work to try to keep the flood out this concrete all the way around here we ripped all this out all this was soaking wet this is mildew this is our main frame to fix it it would cost too much i mean we're looking at not getting it done until taxes come back and that's next year. And it's July. <laughs> Here, let me get dressed. You brush your hair right there. Thursday was a, a rough day. I don't know. Like I passed out in the middle of Walmart and I drove myself home. I don't remember it or nothing. So it was a, um, it was a weird day, but a lot of, the guys were like, you know, he stays on us all the time about rehydrating and, you know, we can't believe out of anybody. He was the one that got dehydrated because, I mean, every time I walk through an area, I'm like, hey, you need to start drinking water. You need to start drinking That's water. I think I just had a lot more on my mind than what I normally do. I don't know. Come on here, big boy. You're dragging the rear. 
Yeah. <laughs> okay, Lydia, come here. Let me fix your hair. Oh, yeah. Okay. Give me hugs. I love you. Have a good day. I love you. Have a good day. Okay. Have a good day. Go sit down. The main thing you want to do is get good results. I'm and good results come so from making... So you can go to the home. No, baby. Oh, you getting ready to go to kindergarten, sweetie. When I see them have met the criteria of what they need, then it makes me feel, hopefully, that my work has not been in vain. But most of all, they have reached the potential. And I think, to me, that is what keeps your spirits up. It's a wow. Look how this year turned out. So yes, you sort of let your little sadness go when you see them walk in on that mud on that Friday with their caps and gowns, tassels. And I tell them this is just the beginning of many, and I'm so proud. Get your cap and gown. You look cute. <laughs> yeah, you look cute. I can write the graduate. Hang it in the back. Hang it in the back. Turn around. Hang it in the back. Huh? Right side of the stairs. Come on. Right side. This is a very exciting time. The first of, I hope, several graduations that your children will experience throughout their lifetime. We appreciate so much you entrusting your children into our care each and every day. We take that responsibility very seriously. We know that it's tough as a parent every day getting up, getting your children ready, getting yourself ready, bringing them in here, dropping them off, heading off to work, working all day, and then coming back and picking them back up and then starting all over again. But uh, we say that our primary objective is to make sure that all these young men and women have the skills they need to be successful in kindergarten. Because we know that that's critical to them uh, graduating from school and going on to uh, be successful in life. We're going to do our presentation of diplomas now. So our teachers are going to come out. We're going to start with Ms. Robbie's Pre-K 4. First, we have Brian Thomas. Next, we have Connor Sullivan. Lashana Norwood. Trinity Letson. Riley Green. Lydia Gilbert. It's not as lonely. I mean, I think it's going to work out just fine, but, you know, Look at the you never know the future. Throw some up there. Mama, Daycare's fixing to go up. And we're going to be losing the food stamps, too, so I'll have to start buying food. And then, you know, for too long, they'll be taking child support out of his check for the girls. So, I don't know, like Chris says, I'm all he has left, so. 
I mean, if I was to leave, he'd be here in this big old house by himself. <laughs> Hello? Hi. Uh, uh-huh. Uh-huh. That was the school nurse, about Lydia. She felt kind of warm and she's running a low grade fever. Oh God. I have a feeling someone's gonna be getting called out of work tomorrow. I hope they're not getting sued because, like, oh no, Jeremy's off work tomorrow. If she has to be picked up, all I gotta do is call him and tell him to go pick her up because he's on the pickup list. So that'll be it. I went in the nice. I know, she told me. <coughs> Are you feeling bad? told him just to wipe it off with the wipe and he was like I don't know how I'm like you just take your wipe and wipe it and he just melted and just cried what's wrong with you he just yeah he just, we just are you not feeling good I gave him has a he bus, been bus feeling kind of bad today no, he hasn't he's been fine we're just here you know riding he just did it so I was really really surprised yeah so he just cried. See. he just cried you're not warm <laughs> what's wrong huh What's wrong with you? What? Hey, 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 what's wrong? What's wrong? You couldn't do it? What's wrong? Why? But you can do it. You can do it. You're a big boy. Hurry up, Sissy's in the car. Okay, guys, come on. Get her. I couldn't catch her earlier. You can't stay with Daddy. You, Trent, you can cough all you want. You ain't gonna get to stay. You're gonna have to come back. I know. It's unfair she you gets to go, ain't it? <coughs> Look, I can't get here. Look. Oh, yeah. You got a fight on your hands. Uh, no, Jeremy does. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I love you, Trent. I love you, too. <laughs> all right. No. Well, you're the youngest. You go first, because that's how it always is. The youngest person goes first. And put your cards up top. That. He's not gonna take you though, not today. Yeah. Honey, you can't go over there today. Tomorrow. Tom tomorrow!
Uh, he's flipping out. Yeah, look at him. What are you crying for? Huh? What are you crying for? Do you want to go with me? I'll see you tomorrow. Okay? You got to go to school in the morning. Hey. Look at me. Look at daddy. Look at daddy. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Get it all out. You have to, you have to go with mommy, okay? But I'll see you tomorrow. You're gonna come over and stay the weekend with me, okay? You gotta go to school, though. You gotta go to school first. Okay? You gotta go with mommy tonight. All right? And I'll see you tomorrow. Okay? Be a big boy, be good. Don't cry for mommy. Give me a hug. Give me a hug. Mm -mm. All right. See you later, buddy. Love you. I missed you at daycare this morning. I missed you too. Bye. Bye. See you later. All right, we'll see you later then. I'll be at work all weekend. Give me a kiss and a hug. Tell I love you. you. Where are you going? I'll be back tomorrow, okay? I gotta get some rest. Oh, or yeah. I'm gonna have a broke hip like you. Leave your bed alone, okay? We don't want you to fall. Okay, cause you think I won't see you no more, really. In the morning at seven o'clock. You'll be back here? Yes. In the morning. At seven o'clock. You got the key? Yes, I have the key. I'll let myself in. Thank you, ma'am. And get okay. you up for breakfast, and we'll go eat. Okay. Okay. I love, love you. I love you too, baby. You too. Bye. Bye, Ellie. I've watched you come and I've watched you go. Life's so beautiful. Dows in the petals of the rose Touched by the sun of gold Inside the fire of the number eight ball 
to see if the penny will fall on easy come easy go is what i'm playing for if i lose easy come easy go will get me through if i had one more day of all days i'd ask again would you wait would you hold one for me and when the weight on my shoulders is dragging me under all my way just to say that i've saved one for you and when my time in is numbered count all the days till yesterday is we have today for just you and me and would you wait would you wait it for me Have you ever looked under the night pretending that you can fly a million miles in just one hour a find of a childhood time no regrets or last goodbyes we have all had time to shine easy come easy go is what i'm playing for if i lose easy come easy go will get me through if i had one more a day of all days i ask again would you wait would you hold one for me and when the weight on my shoulders is dragging me under all my way just to say that i've saved one for you and when my time in is numbered count all the days to yesterday as we have today but just you and me would you wait would you wait here for me and would you wait would you wait like a man waits for his wife and would you wait would you wait like the sea in a rushing tide and would you wait would you wait for me